Hello all. Today we're going to be making chocolate peppermint brownie cookies with box brownie batter. Box brownie mix actually makes really great cookies, but it can be very annoying to figure out how to alter the recipe. So we're going to cover that in this recipe today. I came up with this recipe in 2018. It is super simple and quick to make, and it makes this neat cookie with a super interesting crackly peppermint bottom. So let's go over the ingredients. So we're going to need a large mixing bowl, a spatula, some measuring spoons, and a half cup measuring cup, aluminum foil, two large eggs, canola oil, baking powder, junior mints, cooking spray, which is actually pretty important, that cooking spray, and the box brownie mix. So here's how you do it. Okay, so you're going to start by preheating your oven to 320 degrees. Nice. After we preheat our oven, we're going to line a baking sheet with tin foil and a lot of cooking spray. Next, you're going to whisk your cake mix and baking powder together. You will need one teaspoon of baking powder. To this we will add our eggs and our oil. So two eggs. And a half a cup of canola oil. Mix vigorously. Um, we are using brownie batter mix, but we're not looking for brownie batter consistency. This is going to be a dough more than a batter, so we want it to look dry and like it's not going to form a batter, because we don't want it to form a batter. So here we go, we have a nice thick consistency non-batter dough. Beautiful. So from here, we're going to spray our hands with cooking oil so you can pick up and manipulate this into little dough balls. And it is soft and it will flag, but it won't stick to you because of the oil. You just make little balls and plop them on your cookie tray. If it starts sticking to your fingers, reapply. Uh, you want these dough balls to be on the smaller side because they're going to spread out quite a lot. These are very thin, crispy cookies, so smaller balls is best. <laughs> See the dough starting to stick? I'm just going to deposit that back to the bowl. myself a spritz. To form my dough balls, I'm just pinching. That was a bad pinch. Okay, here we go. This is about as big as you want to get them. Um, some of these are too big, some of them are too small, but you'll get a hang of what, what size works best for you. So now, we're going to wash our hands dry our hands and get into these here candies. So I'm just going to put one mint in the center of each cookie. And I want to press them down to the bottom. These two are too close to the edge. But if your cookie sheet is well greased, you can just move them away. So just keep pushing your mints in all the way to the bottom. And when you're finished, pop them in the oven. And we're gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. 
and put these babies night night. So, we'll see you in 15 minutes. Nice. Here are our beautiful cookies. And now, one of the secrets is to throw these little stinkers into the refrigerator to cool. Night night. Meanwhile, let's get that second batch going. Don't forget that cooking spray. Nice. Also, a side note. You'll get three to four trays of 11 cookies each, depending on how big you make them. Get the second tray of babies in to sleep. Fifteen minutes. Boom. And pulling our first tray from the refrigerator, we will now pick up a corner. And you should be able to very easily lift your cookies off and there's that beautiful peppermint candy bottom um, junior mints start out very soft but once they melt and reform they become hard like a regular peppermint candy um, so this is not sticky at all it's very dry I mean it's oily because of the oil but it's uh, these are not a sticky cookie by any means if you try to pick these up with a spatula you're gonna have a bad time so I would recommend after you get the first one up using the corner, keep using the foil. Lift and separate. A spatula is not your friend with these guys, but even being completely cooled, they're still sealed down pretty well from the oil. Alrighty, thanks for joining me on my cookie adventure. Uh, you should get about three dozen cookies out of this recipe using one box of brownie mix, which I think is a great yield, especially for something so simple. Um, I do want to show you how thin these guys are. They are so thin. So, me and Marcus hope you make and enjoy these cookies with your family this Christmas. Thanks for joining me. Peace out. You can't have this, it's chocolate.